Assalamu alaikum rahmatullah. In this video, one of the vision defects of human eye will be discussed and this is about short sight or myopia. So those who already watched my tutorial on the structure of human eyes or you know about human eyes, the structure and the name of the human eyes primarily, then uh, understanding the myopia would be much more easier as because uh, you know that what are the concept of refractions and what are the uh, uses of human lens uh, inside the uh, human eyes. So lens is a refractive medium. So when short sight or myopia will occur, I mean you know that there is a uh, range of visions like when the near point is between uh, is 25 centimeter to infinite we see the normal range of human visions eye vision so when we see something from you know, 25 centimeter near we can see things clearly and without any problem but when the near point is less than 25 centimeter or like more then there is, is a problem to see it clearly so in case of myopia or short sight, it means that those persons are facing this problem. They can see things clearly that is from the nearer subject. But from lights, from when lights coming from far or more than 25 centimeter or more than that, they cannot see things clearly. So when the near point is less than 25 centimeter, then we can see, we can say it, it's actually a myopia. So why myopia happens and what are the reasons behind that? So you know this is lens and this is the cornea, I mean this is the retina. So through the cornea and through the pupil when light enters to the lens, then this is a convex lens, then it is actually converging those ray diagram so when light coming to the uh, through the pupils and cornea then lens converge it into the retina and then the retina is a light sensitive layer and then it creates the sensitizations of visions but in this case there is a defects because you see when light is coming from far what's going on suppose Mm, from far a pair of light rays are coming mm? and then after the refractions that it's actually the lens what's happening it's actually it's actually uh, uh, converging before retina so when it is converging before retina it was supposed to converge here because when some some rays are coming through the pupil that this converging point should be in the retina to see the things clearly but when uh, when these things happen when it's happened because when the the diameter of the eyeball will increase or the converging point the converging capacity or the focal distance the focal distance would be less or the converging power is getting more then then this meeting point is coming in front of the retina so that is why these persons will not see these things clearly because it should be it should be on that side the meeting point should be on the retina what's going on if light is coming from the near side so suppose from this near side uh, light is coming so when it's falling to the to the lens to the lens of these eyes then what's going on it's actually meeting in the in the retina so when it is meeting in the retina this is visible this is visible to these eyes because through this point it's very near so when a, a light rays are coming through the pupils and and then the, the, the meeting point of this here is forming in the retina and these eyes is, uh, can see uh, this point. So this is actually the, the signs of myopia. But when light is coming from far, then this, eye, this lens is converging, this light rays in front of the retina. So what can be the remedy of this? The remedy is that you see that the converging power of this lens is getting higher. So if we can use 
one concave lens one concave lens in front of the eye as a spectacles as a spectacles then suppose this lines is coming from this way from this way and then what would be the functions of this concave lens it will definitely diverge this light ray like this and then after that after that they will actually meet in the retina they will actually meet in the retina so do you really understand what's going on i mean uh, it's a very very primary level discussions going on right now you see that these two lines are coming from the same distance so this is a, a person is standing this is a person standing like before so these eyes cannot see these persons because the meeting point should be in the retina but when the person is very near to him or something is very near to him then this eye can see these persons because the light when it's refracting through this lens it was meeting in the retina so when retina got this meeting point the sensitization happens and then it was visible to these eyes but in this case when light is coming from far these eyes cannot see it so the remedy is using a concave lens so we know that the concave lens power and the sign convention is that this is actually this is actually a concave lens and this is negative focal length as because if we see this is a principal focus uh, here and then it's it's actually a negative distance so as it was previously meeting at this point but we were able to make it difference from that point so the focal distance of this lens which will be working as a egg lens would be same to same with this distance so for those persons are facing myopia or short sight as a egg lens they will use a concave lens suppose if i say that the, the power of this concave lens is uh, well, minus 2.5 diopter suppose i mean it's, it's really really technical and scientific but i'm just giving you a primary level discussion suppose if i say the power of this lens is minus 2.5 d that resource that in minus i can see that this is a concave lens and the focal distance is actually p equal 1 by f so we can say that f is equal 1 by p so we can say 1 by 2.5 so if we say that what is the value of 1 by 2.5 that would be 1 by 2.5 which is actually 0 0.4 meter so 0 0.4 meter which is 40 centimeter so if if it's said that the power of this concave lens or aid lens is uh, 2.5 diopter then we can say the focal distance of this lens is 40 centimeter so simply we understand the cause of myopia the the re remedy of the myopia so the cause can be three number one that if the if the diameter of the, the eyeball is enlarged if diameter get enlarged then the meeting point will be in front of the retina so the first point is if the diameter of eyeball increased number two if the converging power of these eyes is getting stronger or more if there is more converging power then the rays will be conversed earlier before reaching retina number two and number three is if this is converging power is so high then the focal distance would be less so if the focal distance is less and if the converging power is high and if the diameter of the human eyes is increased then this myopia will happen and when there is a patient of myopia those who are short sight patient they actually can see they can see the nearer object 
they cannot see the object from far they will use a concave lens as a remedy and the power of that concave lens would be negative so when there is negative that negative shows this is a concave lens so i hope you understand the human eyes and you of course try to draw these figures accurately and try to understand why this far-reaching beam of light is not meeting in the retina but from short side as it is a short-sighted myopia from near right they are meeting in the retina so we need to use a concave lens in front of the lens of human lens human eye lens as a remedy so i hope you understand and the next video i'm coming up with the descriptions of hypermetropia or long sight take care stay well bye